Another great example of how this capitalist society succeeded in popularizing industrialization for one's loss and another one's gain is America's most highly favored board game called Monopoly. On January 5th, 1904, a board game called the Landlord's Game was patented under inventor Lizzie J. Maggie, also known as Elizabeth Maggie Phillips, who was the hidden figure behind the idea of the Monopoly board game. As you may recall, that each time this game is played with your family or friends, things will take a turn for the worst near the conclusion of the game. Arguments, long periods of not speaking with each other, possible relationship separations, and so forth, right? Well, that's all due to the fact that this board game was never meant to be a fun, family-friendly type of game. In fact, it's a game of reality. A reality of how this society was established from its inception. Fraud. In a 1936 magazine article of the Evening Star, Elizabeth Maggie noted that the game was to be, quote, a practical demonstration of the present system of land grabbing with all its usual outcomes and consequences, end quote. Author Ruth Hall wrote that the term land grabbing, quote, obscures vast differences in the legality, structure, and outcomes of commercial land deals and deflects attention from the roles of domestic elites and governments as partners, intermediaries, and beneficiaries. According to the Webster's Dictionary, the noun land grab means, quote, a usually swift acquisition of property such as land or patent rights, often by fraud or force, end quote. This is not just some simple board game, as it does, however, expose the duplicities of a federal currency system and the malevolent implications of capital accumulation by taking land and building an empire from the labors of those who were cheated our ancestors.